I was born in New Zealand, and then I moved to Australia when I was eight. Back then, I was always on the piano. Like, I'd like sit there and I'd play this lullaby for myself, but I'd be really sleepy that I like fall asleep and I'd put my chin on my knee. I went to church every Sunday and had a lot of Korean friends there. But then at school, I was just like a normal Australian kid. Congratulations, Rosie. And I think I enjoyed having two lives, kind of like Hannah Montana. <laughs> it's funny. My dad saw on the news that YG was coming to Australia. I was like, Rosie, do you want to audition? And I was so shocked. I think I asked him, I was like, do I like music? Like, do I? And he's like, yeah, obviously. You're going to have to, you know, try to do something about it. Otherwise, you're going to be like 25 and you're going to regret that you didn't try anything. I was 16. And then I went and auditioned, and then they called me and they were like, Can you fly to Korea within two months? And then my whole life changed. I dropped out of school. In Australia, I, I dropped out of school. I had never even imagined myself living apart from my family. I hadn't even like slept more than two weeks out of home. It was a really hard one, I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. 